Jennifer Barry Haw's book, Grace Will Lead Us Home, The Charleston Church Massacre and the Hard, Inspiring Journey to Forgiveness, delves into the deeply moving narrative of the tragic Charleston Church Massacre and the remarkable journey towards forgiveness that followed. Through meticulous research, empathetic storytelling, and powerful interviews, Haw's navigates the complex terrain of grief, racism, faith, and reconciliation. The book primarily revolves around the heinous act of violence that took place on June 17, 2015, at Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina. Dylan Roof, a young white supremacist, entered the historic black church and ruthlessly gunned down nine African-American parishioners during a Bible study session. This brutal act of racially motivated terrorism sent shockwaves throughout the nation, prompting immediate calls for justice, gun control reform, and an end to racial hatred. Haas skillfully presents a detailed and heart-wrenching account of the events leading up to the massacre and its aftermath. She crafts a narrative that humanizes the victims, offering readers a glimpse into their lives, hopes, and the faith that sustained them. Through intimate interviews with survivors and their families, Hawes paints a vivid portrait of the individuals who were taken from their loved ones far too soon. Their stories serve as a poignant reminder of the profound loss experienced by the community. One of the book's central themes is the remarkable capacity for forgiveness exhibited by the victims' families and the church community as a whole. Despite the immense pain and anger they understandably felt, many chose to follow the path of grace and forgiveness. This choice is rooted in their deep Christian faith and a desire to honor the legacy of their loved ones. Haas expertly captures the internal struggles of forgiveness, portraying it as a challenging and ongoing process rather than a one-time decision. This nuanced perspective on forgiveness adds depth to the narrative and highlights the incredible strength of the survivors and their families. In addition to the personal stories, Huss also explores the larger societal issues that the Charleston Church Massacre brought to the forefront. She delves into the history of racial tensions in Charleston and the wider United States, providing context for the events of June 17, 2015. Through interviews with community leaders, activists, and scholars, she examines the broader implications of the tragedy, such as the debate surrounding the Confederate flag and the urgent need for a national conversation on race. Hu's writing is both engaging and empathetic, allowing readers to connect with the individuals at the heart of the story. Her prose is evocative, capturing the emotions and struggles of the survivors and their families in a way that resonates deeply. She balances the narrative with historical and sociopolitical analysis, ensuring that the book not only tells a compelling story but also sheds light on the broader issues of racism and gun violence in America. Grace Will Lead Us Home serves as a poignant reminder of the power of faith, forgiveness, and community in the face of unspeakable tragedy. It illustrates the resilience of the human spirit and the capacity for healing even in the darkest of times. Jennifer Barry Haw's meticulous research and empathetic storytelling make this book a compelling and essential read for anyone seeking to understand the complexities of forgiveness, racial reconciliation, and the enduring legacy of a tragic event that shook a nation. In conclusion, Grace Will Lead Us Home is a deeply moving exploration of the Charleston Church Massacre and the journey towards forgiveness that followed. Jennifer Barry Haw's masterful storytelling, combined with her thorough research and empathetic approach, makes this book a powerful testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring pursuit of justice and reconciliation in the face of tragedy.